Tonight, Old Dominion University is holding a vigil in the wake of the mass shootings in the mosques in New Zealand. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Harris. And I'm Laura Queso. 50 people were killed and dozens more were injured. Among the injured is a relative of a Virginia Beach woman. He was shot sheltering his son from the bullets. Sit on your side, Deanna Betneshi joins us live ahead of tonight's vigil. Deanna. And that vigil starts in just about a half hour or so. We know it's going to be held here inside of the Islamic Center right near ODU. And it's a place where people can come to support the Muslim community and also remember the lives that were lost. 50 lives lost in two recent mosque attacks in Christchurch, New Zealand. The attacks have left people all over the world grieving for the lives lost and those injured who are still fighting for their lives. Today I spoke with a local woman who says her brother-in-law and nephew were in one of the mosques during the attack. Her brother-in-law shielded her nephew from the bullets. Both are alive and recovering. It's um, incredible to think that an event that occurred, tragic, a terrible event that occurred on the other side of the globe could have a real, true local impact. And so we're seeing that here. Michael Berlucci is with the Virginia Beach Human Rights Commission. The commission is expected to have members out at tonight's vigil at the Islamic Center near ODU, where people will be there to support each other and those impacted by the recent attacks. The Muslim community of Hampton Roads and ODU Muslim Student Association are putting the vigil on together. Locals around Hampton Roads are asked to attend. Ultimately, no person should be, fa uh, should be um, victimized because of how they worship or who they love. Berlucci says the vigil gives the community a chance to come together and support those grieving in the face of violence. We want to do everything we can to encourage our community to, um, to lend a hand and, um, and keep our uh, hearts open and our minds open. And again, that vigil starts right here at the Islamic Center at 6 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in Norfolk, Deanna Betaneshi, 10 on your side.